All oh, right, mashed potatoes. Let's talk uh, potatoes first. Uh, the best potatoes you can make mashed potatoes with anywhere in the world are going to be the baking potatoes you can buy because they're generally very flavorful and they're very floury in texture. So um, wherever you are in the world, the baked potato is your best choice for this. The baking potato is your best choice. And you want to cut them up something like that and then always immerse them in cold water and then bring that up to the boil. At this stage, I'm not going to add any salt. I'm not going to add any seasonings at all. I am just want to bring them up to the boil and cook them. Um, so I'm just going to bring that up to the boil now. I'll put the lid on the skew so that uh, the steam can escape. Uh, and uh, I'll boil those for about 15 minutes. Okay, after about 15 minutes, the... Uh, Potatoes look rather done. Let's just fork test them. Yeah, they break up easily, so they're ready. So turn the heat off those and drain them. And here's a top tip. Once you've drained them, return them back to the heat just for a few seconds to allow them to steam off. Only about 10, 20 seconds should be enough. And when you lift the lid, you'll get a massive gush of steam and then we transfer them to where we're going to mash them up. So there we are, we've got our lovely drained and steamed potatoes. Into that I'm going to put a shot glass full of full cream milk and a large blob of butter. And then I'm going to give it the good news with my masher. And once you've given it the good news with your masher and you've mashed it all up, give it another mash. Once you're happy that it's mashed up properly, what we can now do is take our whisk and give it a good old whisk. And the result is amazing. Okay, I'm going to give this a little taste test. Soft, fluffy, delicious, but lacking in salt. So we're going to have to drop in a bit of salt. So I'm putting a pinch of salt into that. And I also want to put in a little bit of white pepper. So I'm just going to take a couple of shakes or tip of a teaspoon like that of white pepper in it. I, I like pepper so if you know you just use as much pepper as, as you like and then we'll give that another quick whisk and then we're going for a final taste test. Mm. There's just something amazing about mashed potatoes. Right, I'm going to show you those served up with some of my savoury mince. Okay, let's serve this up. Generous portion of gorgeous fluffy mashed potatoes. And on top of that, generous portion of mince. Gorgeous.